you know what? A re- report proves that we need to get our act together. You know, Kevin McCarthy is so, uh, it, it thinks he's going to win the House. He doesn't want to pass any of the bills that the Democrats want out there. Bills that help people, bills that a super majority of people say that they want, you know, both socially and uh, for the infrastructure and many other issues, right? And if you look into his district, as this study shows, the people in his districts will want this as well. Listen to this and then we'll take it on the other side. We've got to share the details of a new report that reveals one of the biggest benefactors of the American Rescue Plan happens to be one of the most vocal critics of Biden's infrastructure plan, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Erica, this this piece was amazing. Kevin McCarthy vehemently opposes Biden's proposal. Tell us more about his district and what do they need? What do they use? Well, his district, uh, which is at the bottom tip of California's Central Valley, very agriculture heavy, uh, has a lot of poverty, large family sizes relatively, younger families, and they really need that child tax credit. We found that they are among the highest need districts in the state and in the country for that particular benefit. Some 93% of children would qualify for it uh, compared to around 86% uh, nationwide. Uh, Lots of folks getting stimulus checks, unemployment still in double digits in that district, even as it's fallen to single digits in the rest of California and the nation. Uh, So a lot of need for those enhanced unemployment benefits and just lots of needs that federal legislation has addressed, but that uh, Mr. McCarthy opposed in the most recent round of legislation. Then what is he doing in office? He's been, he has been reelected since 2007. That's right. And I think your previous segment went to that a bit, which is that although McCarthy is someone who in the California state legislature had a record of pragmatism and some would say moderation, he's now, you know, towing the party line and sticking with President Trump, and that is where he has to be as a national leader. Uh, His district remains strongly Republican. Uh, There's a lot of voter disengagement among those poorer folks. There's a large number of undocumented who are not able to vote, and the congressman continues to have a base of support. In some case, folks that are benefiting from the programs that he opposes, but nonetheless, maybe don't connect the dots or continue to support him nonetheless. The Democrats have some work to do uh, in that district. Do you think he'll be safe in the next cycle? You can only be a leader on the national stage if you get elected in your home district. Yeah, I don't think he's at risk. And clearly he's trying to make sure that he's not. And that's in part by supporting President Trump, which is where Republicans have to be for the most part for electoral viability. You heard what she said. A lot of disengaged. And she still believes it's a Republican district that is going to be taken because it's a Republican district. True. Remember somebody named Thomas, Mr. Foley, who led the House Democrat? And he thought he had that district all sewn up. There is a, I fundamentally believe that if we put the effort in, and this doesn't have to distract us from winning our shore district and put it in, in, involving ourselves in there. But if we go into these areas and instruct and, and bring those new people into the fold, those people that are disengaged, invest in them. Invest in people. That's who we are as progressives. We could probably create the biggest upset of 2022. I think Kevin McCarthy, given this report, I think his district must be placed in play. Whether the demo, whether it seems that way or not, the fact that these people do require government and that he is materially opposed to it, there is a narrative that can be created that these people finally look at their self-interest and say, if Kevin McCarthy gets his way, we don't. 
Democrats need to engage on this one. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.